Good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day so far. Uh, we're going to be driving through the town of Pittsburgh, Indiana. Now, Pittsburgh, Indiana, you know, some people may consider this a suburb due to its uh, location to Indianapolis. Other people might consider this just a small town. I guess you. I guess after you watch the video uh, and listen to the commentary, you can make your own determination of what you of of, of how you see this community to be. So let's go. So Pittsburgh is a town in Indiana, which is located 22 miles northwest of Indianapolis off of Interstate 74. It is four miles uh, to the north of Brownsburg, which if you're wanting to see Brownsburg, I got that video on this channel, so feel free to watch it. I just uploaded the video yesterday. So whatever a minute, uh, whatever amenities you are unable to find here in Pittsburgh, you can just drive up the road to Brownsboro. Now the current population here is 3,682 people, and the population has grown by 25.8% as of the 2020 census. The population back in the 2010 census was at 2,928 people. And given how close this community is to Indianapolis, uh, this community most likely is going to continue to grow. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if Pittsburgh was no longer Pittsburgh. What I mean by that is you know, during the years that I've lived here in Indiana, I have seen small, you know, I have seen what I would consider fairly small towns grow into, grow into uh, suburbs. To where at first I'm, you know, like, like, uh, I mean, let me think of something here. No, I forget that. But, I'm just going to say this. I mean, I do predict that within the next, I would say, five to ten years, uh, if if you were to, if I were to drive through here and record another video here in Pittsburgh, you guys would be seeing a whole entirely different uh, town. In fact, it wouldn't even be a town; it would be a city. I'll just I'll just leave it like that. Now here's a brief history of Pittsburgh. Now Pittsburgh was founded on the 9th of December of 1834 by T. Hadley and William L. Matlock. The town's the town was named after Hadley's hometown in North Carolina, because there there is also a Pittsburgh, North Carolina, where. Hadley was from, which is how this town got its name. Pittsburgh was incorporated as a town on the 6th of April of 1906. Shortly after this, street lights were put up, sidewalks were built, and water services began. The racial demographics here are going to be 90.6% white. 3.4% black and 4.2% Hispanic. Your median rent prices are going to go from $780 to $1,700 a month. And the median home price is $306,000. However, at this point, you're not going to find anything cheaper than $315,000. And the majority of the houses that are currently for sale are going to be newer construction and some of them are haven't even been built but they're trying to sell it anyways now if you're new to the channel 
I'm going to just tell you real briefly how I feel about new construction. I think for the most part, new construction houses are garbage. You know, they use low quality material. The workmanship is lousy. And many of these builders do not stand behind their products. So if you buy a new build, treat it like you would treat a pre-existing structure and go ahead and hire yourself a qualified home inspector. Don't go through the realtor for that inspector. Get your own. Don't be lazy. And another thing is, me personally, even if I wanted to buy a new house, I would never buy a house that has not been built. Because, many, again, many of these uh, contractors, uh, once you have already paid the money, Either A, they're going to just throw up your house, they're going to throw up your house real quick and fast just to get the job done and keep it pushing. And the workmanship is going to be, the, the, the quality of the house all in all is going to, it is going to be lousy. Or two, once they got your money, they'll just go ahead, jack their feet. And then all of a sudden they'll hurry up and get everything done and you'll still have a you'll still have a beautiful looking piece of shit so yeah if you're new to the channel and this your and this is your first time watching any of my videos uh i guess in many many words i'm telling you guys to do not buy a newer house but if you want to if you really really want to or if you feel you have to in order to be a homeowner in Pittsburgh, the least you can do for yourself and, your, and for your family and for your finances is hire a qualified home inspector. Now, uh, as far as what I personally think about Pittsburgh, I mean, to me, Although Pittsburgh might technically be considered a suburb of Indianapolis due to how close it is to Indianapolis. I mean, if you I mean, if you were to come to Pittsburgh and visit in person, Pittsburgh has more of a small town slash world community feel. I mean, Pittsburgh, at least right now, it's got more of a small town slash world community feel. So, if you're a small town kind of person, or you're even a world community kind of person, I would say at this particular point, Pittsburgh would not be a bad place to live, provided that you had the money to purchase one of these houses. So, I would say at this point, Pittsburgh is an expensive small town i'll just put it like that it's an, it's an expensive small town now one thing which you might want to take into consideration before moving to pittsburgh is most likely it's going the the community is going to continue to grow most likely you'll wake up one day out like i said five to ten years or so from now you'll wake up one day and before you know it, the population is no longer going to be 3,000 and some people. You might wake up one day and the population will be 10,000. And then wake up again, it'll be 20,000. I mean, it will no longer be a small town. It will no longer even offer you the small town feel. It will become another suburb. It will become another typical suburb. I mean, it may not become another Carmel or Fishers. But it could easily become at least another uh, Westfield. Or it could become another Cicero, except without the water. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say Cicero, Cicero is a, is a suburb of uh, it's another suburb of Indianapolis. It's located in Hamilton County. Which I got a video of Cicero on this channel. Which a lot of people on that video got after me because I mispronounced it. 
but that video is on this channel if you're interested in seeing the video of Cicero but anyways but yeah I would say if you don't mind paying a little extra money for housing uh, to me this is basically a expensive small town because this community does give you the small it, it, it does have a small town feel at least right now it does like I said if you move here just just understand that most likely it's going to change and one day you're going to wake up and the small town that you're used to right now is no longer going to be it's going to have grown into a typical suburb with a bunch of cookie cutter houses and and subdivisions that charge association fees next thing you know they're going to have a starbucks here then they're going to have some upscale shopping and some restaurants here. So, and I'm not saying any of that is bad. I'm just saying if you move here, just be prepared. I mean, Pittsburgh is most like is most likely not going to stay the way it is right now. So, if you like if you like Pittsburgh for what it is right now, uh don't get used to it because it's most likely not going to stay like that. I mean, as you guys can see, look at all the new houses that are being built. In fact, the majority of the houses that are currently for sale are newer homes, as you all can see. Next thing you know, they're going to be building, like I said, they're going to have a Starbucks. They're going to have some upscale restaurants, some shopping. I mean, granted, down the street you got Brownsboro, so they're probably not going to make this community too big because you got Brownsboro that's super close. But then again, you're going to Hamilton County. You got Noblesville and Fishers and Cornwall all right by each other, but each city has its own everything. So, yeah. If you're moving here because you're wanting to escape large the larger city and you're looking for that small town feel i'm just telling you guys if you move here uh don't get used to it i'm just going to just stay straight up now there's always a chance that i could be wrong but i don't think so so all right let's go to niche let's see how other people feel about this community All right, folks, there has been 14 reviews of Pittsburgh on Niche. Pittsburgh has a 4 out of a 5 star rating. So let's go down the list here like normal. If you're new to the channel, I start with the 5 stars and I work myself all the way down to the 1 star. 5 is good, 1 is terrible. You know, the, the more stars, the better. So let's go down the list. Now... Five people gave it a five star, six people gave it a four star, three people gave it a three star, no one gave it a one or a two star. So let's just see what, the, what people have got to say. All right, this first one is from August of 2020. It's a five star. I love everything about where I live. It is a quiet community and I am able to reach other destinations in a timely manner. Okay. This next one is a five star from February of 2018. It's a nice little town to live. Water and electric bills is through, are through the roof though. Other than that, it's pretty quiet and home and then homey. You know what? And that's one thing which I noticed throughout some of the recent home purchases and moves that I've made. I mean, if you're looking to move to Indiana, or anywhere for that matter, uh, it's not going to hurt to take an extra moment and do a little bit of due diligence on, on what your utilities are going to run you. Because here in Indiana, I'm going to give you guys an example. Like my house in Alabama, my water bill 
ran about fifty dollars a month which some people would say the water down there is high now where i'm at here in indiana our water bill runs ninety dollars a month and if you're late you're going to be paying closer to a hundred dollars So, yeah, so just, just if you move anywhere, just, you know, do some due diligence on, on the utility bills. Because for some people, the utility bills could make or break somebody's budget. Or it might even make or break rather, rather not you purchase a home in the area or not. I got a friend who lives in Martinsville, Indiana. And... She tells and she tells me on a regular basis how high her water bill is. I mean, there's been times where her water bill has been in the two hundred dollar range, and I was like, man. I mean, I I mean, I almost thought she was lying to me, but then she showed me a bill. So okay, no no lies detected, which I think that's insane to pay that kind of money just with some damn water. But yeah, anyways, let's keep going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read one more. It's a five star from October of 2017. There seems to be no crime. The, the most we get is pranks from teenagers. The town is also conveniently close to Brownsburg. So my favorite stores and restaurants aren't that far away. Alrighty, we're going to go down to four stars. Hit my first four star is from September of 2017. I like living in Pittsburgh. It is a very nice little peaceful, quiet and quiet and growing town. It is a nice place to have a family. Okay, this next one is a four star again from January of 2017. Small family friendly town close to downtown Indianapolis. Families come first here, not much else here, but great place to raise a family. Close enough to Indy and West Side to get everything else done. Okay, we're going to go down to the average, which is a three star. This first one. Now these ones are old. These now the ones I'm going to read, they're old. They're the, these reviews are about ten years old. This first one is from November of 2014. I currently reside in a very small town, so the business world is scarce. The Dollar General has been the biggest thing to come to our community. I wish we had more variety in our town for things to do and places to shop. Okay, this next one is also from 2014. Three star. There are many housing additions in my area. This is a good place to live. Okay, that's going to do it for the reviews. I mean... But like I told you before, if you move here, just plan on a lot of growth happening around you. Alright folks, that's going to do it for the commentary. I don't really have much more to add. So hopefully you guys got something out of the commentary today. There's like, uh, there's about 20 minutes left of this video, give or take. I would like you to continue to watch it so you see more of this community. And on that note, uh, if you want to help me out, all you got to do is give videos like this a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing that as well. And if you click the bell, uh, you'll get notification on every time I put out a new video. And on that note, stay blessed and I'll catch you guys on the, on the next one.